everyone, welcome. Today I'm going to be cooking you all uh, breakfast. It's going to be eggs and uh, pancakes. Very excited to, to cook this uh, for you all. The eggs are from a store called QFC. And the pancakes, I don't know, they're pro they're protein pancakes. You guys like protein pancakes? I love protein pancakes. They're just the best. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Can you hear me okay? Can you hear me? Is the audio good? I had to get a new microphone. It's 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 seven it's seven at night for me. Okay, okay. Audio's good. Yes, we hear you. Okay, good, good. Uh yeah, I'm uh I'm sorry if it's too late for you, if it's not breakfast time. Is there any is there anything in England where uh if it's really, really late you can still cook breakfast? I know brunch is for like uh, what, brunch? Brunch is for like if you missed breakfast, you slept through breakfast. So, um, your videos always make my day. G thank you so much, I'm glad to hear that. That's always the goal. Uh, yeah, I'm cooking to take your mind off No Not November, that's right. Um, all right, yeah, let's let's focus on the meal. Uh, but thank you all for being here. I super appreciate that. Uh, today's menu is pancakes with uh, eggs. Here's the pancakes. Here's the pancake mix if you want to look it up at your uh, at your local store. Yeah. I'm told, I'm told it, it tastes all right. Okay, I'm now adding olive oil to the pan, which is a very important step when you're cooking eggs. Uh, I'm gonna turn the dial onto two, if you were curious. I know in, uh, England, you like to call trash rubbish. Uh, you're wrong for that. It's called trash. Unless that's only in Ireland. But the, the Irish bullied me a lot when I was over there. Because I would say, hey, excuse me, um, where's the trash? And they would say, you mean rubbish? You idiot. And I would say, okay, thanks, but like, I still want to know where the trash is. They would never tell me. They would just bully me. That's how it goes. The, 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 the debate is ongoing whether or not it's trash or rubbish. But I still don't know if I ever found a trash can. I don't think they exist in England. They're not real. Can you eat breakfast at 10.20 a.m.? Yes, you can. <laughs> it's rubbish. <laughs> it's just two, it's just two different ways of saying it. Hello, hello. I don't know if I want people calling me dad though. Although I did have a nice encounter in the elevator this morning. I was getting some coffee and this guy, here, this is the coffee I got. Where is it? Right here. I got this. And so I'm standing in the elevator like this, holding it like it's a baby. Because it's, because I woke up late. I actually missed a stream. There, I was supposed to be part of this other stream and I, I slept through it because the person's on European time. I feel kind of bad about that. But anyway, 
I'm standing there holding it like this in the elevator and uh, it's the janitor and he looks at me and he looks at that and he goes, oh, chocolate? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, is it for the kids? And I was like, no. And then he kind of got this look of disappointment and I never understood until he left the elevator, but I think it's because he thought that this was chocolate milk and not chocolate coffee. See, like, so then I was like, all right, I guess that makes sense. Then I also thought, so he thought I had kids? Cause he was like, that's oh, for the kids. I was like, what? But the thing about kids though, you guys, we need to have this talk. It's a good breakfast talk. I'm gonna turn up the heat on this. I'm just, I'm literally just cooking two eggs. I guess I can make toast, that's kind of exciting. Hopefully the bread didn't go bad. Chocolate coffee? Yeah, it's mocha. You ever heard of it before? I'm not going to I'm not going to answer that question. All right guys, here's here's uh here's your coffee. I'll do I'll do a half portion. All right? Here you go. Here's your chalky milk, even though it's coffee. Here you go. Drink up. Drink up, chat. It's for you. Have it. I don't, I don't want it anymore. You need, you need to keep up your strength, chat. Drink coffee. It'll nourish your mind and your body, please. <sighs> it's not a milkshake. It's real chocolate. I mean, it's real coffee. Thanks, non-gender specific parent. Yeah, okay. I'm a dude. But then it got me thinking, you know, about life. This is not just a coffee chat. This is not just hanging out with me in my kitchen drinking coffee because I overslept. Um, but, uh, yeah, it got me thinking about, you know, is it marriage wild, you guys? Because <laughs> think about it. Think about it. So the guy, in the, the janitor in the elevator got me thinking because he was like, oh, is that for the kids? And I was like, no. But then I was like, wait, if I had kids, how would that work? So to have kids, you need to be married. But to be married, you need to have someone you're dating. But to have someone you're dating, you need to have someone look at you and say, you know what? I think I want to make babies with that person. But then you also have to find someone who looks at you and is like, you know what? I think I want to be around that person for a very long time. And you're like, oh, it kind of narrows it down. Kind of narrows it down a lot, you know? It's not impossible though, you guys. Never give up on romance, okay? Um, I was gonna say someone didn't, I don't know. Didn't the Incredible Hulk never give up on romance? And then now he's married to Scarlett Johansson? So like, see, like, if they can do that. Remember they were nervous? They couldn't hold hands because the Hulk's hands were too big. But then he used the power of love to shrink to normal size. So now they're now they're together. What's cooking? Uh, I'm making you guys eggs and then we're gonna make pancakes. And right now we're just waiting for these eggs to cook. I could probably turn up the heat a little bit more. <sighs> if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in chat. I already see someone asking something. Hey Sweeney, I've watched your videos. I wish you good morning, but I wish to ask a question. I feel lonely, I have some contacts online, but they never really say hi. It's always me. Um, you know, that's interesting. <laughs> anyway, no, no, no. Um, yeah, I, I don't understand that. It, it, it could be that your friends are more introverted than you. 
like the, the, the biggest thing you want to do is don't assume people don't like you just because they don't reach out. Because some people just don't reach out. Like my older brother, he's more introverted than me. So he's always relying on me to like, or he used to rely on me to always set up the events to reach out to thousands and thousands of people. Because I'm just really good at that. I'm, organize, I'm good at organizing big events and getting lots and lots of people <laughs> in a small space. You know, kind of like the villain from Saw. But instead of murdering people, we just kind of have drinks and hang out. But uh, I don't know. If you want to, if you want to talk to them directly, you could just be like, "Hey, I feel like I'm always reaching out. What's up?" And then see what they say. And if they're like, "Oh, I hate you," then go find other friends. Like, because <laughs> that's ridiculous. Your friends should make you feel good about yourself. My God, I have a bad headache. I didn't even drink last night because it was Monday. And I'm a responsible adult. <laughs> I appreciate everyone calls me a dad in chat. I guess that's fair. The janitor thought I was a dad. Oh yeah, you guys want some more coffee? Sure, here you go. Drink up, you guys. Here's your coffee. You need to maintain your strength so you can make it through No Nut November. So you could go subscribe to all the Hollow Live VTubers and Iron Mouse and Nanners and Hey It's Moon and Leafeons and Sugar Cube and uh, I Am Lucid and PewDiePie and Markiplier and Jacksepticeye. <laughs> I, I, that could go on for a long time. I could just sit there naming off every single channel. <laughs> it started off as VTubers. It always does. And then it always ends with Markiplier. <laughs> He's the real dad. I'm Markiplier's son. But not really, because there's no resemblance, and I don't think he has kids. We're still waiting on the eggs, chat. Okay, still waiting. I can show you. I can show you a progress, a progress update. Whoop. Or maybe, maybe I can't. Give me that. All right, here you go. All right, we're we're coming over here now. Um, that's how it looks. See. I mean, it's it's eggs. Nothing too exciting. I'm not Gordon Ramsay, and even if I was, I'm sure he makes eggs. Actually, he made a really good eggs Benedict. I wanted to try for some time. Eggs Benny is really good. I don't know if you guys like eggs Benedict. Turn the heat up. As soon as I turn it up, they're gonna burn. I don't like my eggs burnt, you guys. I like them. Uh, no, I don't. It's not like I like them undercooked. All right, I'm gonna flip them. They're ready to be flipped. Maybe they weren't, but uh, we'll we'll let them sit there. What's my favorite sport? Soccer, or as the Europeans call it, football. It's the best. That's why I started playing Rocket League. Because Rocket League is the closest thing to, uh, you know, soccer. Who flips their eggs? If you don't flip your eggs, the bottom's going to burn, you guys. You got to flip your eggs. It's big brain time. No more crusty bottoms. Oh, pour some, pour some seasoning. Hang on. Here, we'll add a little garlic. A little garlic to this. Maybe a little black pepper. Mm-hmm. 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 
also look at my sauces, you guys. No garlic? It's too late. I already put the garlic on. Why are you guys, you guys are afraid of garlic? Dude, look at this. It's garlic powder. Are you not supposed to add it to eggs? Because I did. It's fine. It's it's fine. All right, now I'm going to show you my sauces. We could have a little bit of ham. Yeah, the frick is the Where's the hot sauce? Um the, Oh, oh. I can't show you my last hot sauce. Damn it. It was so good. Oh, hang on. My eggs are almost ready. Just gotta flip them again. Just gotta make sure the whoop. Please don't be bad. Looks good to me. All right, the eggs, our eggs are done. I don't know if I want to show them to you guys. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Welcome if you're new. All right, here's here's two here's two of the best sauces in the world. Okay, do you guys want to guess what they are? Any guesses? Anybody? Can you hear me? Okay, by the way. Wait, how can you tell? How can you tell just by just by looking at the bottles? That's cheating. Uh, Tabasco? Oh, uh, gross. Tabasco? I'm Mexican? Yeah, that would probably do it. <laughs> that would probably do it. Yeah, you're right. It's uh, Tapatio. Tapatio is so good. And not to mention, look how happy that guy is. Look, my dad and I would talk about this guy for ages uh, when I was a young lad eating breakfast with my father we would be like yo look at the top of you guy like what do you have to do in life to be that cool not a lot of people are as cool as a top of you man to be fair and then of course the other one is valentina did, did somebody say that's markiplier <laughs> um that doesn't look anything like markiplier who what that's not Markiplier. He... No. Markiplier doesn't have a mustache. You're wild for that. Anyway, yeah. Valentina. Top to you. Go, go pick him up. Oh, uh, shoot. I need a bowl. This is what I get for not doing dishes. Hello. <laughs> no, I didn't say balls. You want me to audition to be the top Tio man? I don't think I'm qualified. Not only am I not Mexican, which might be one of the requirements, uh, but I don't. I'm bald. And the top of the you guys is not bald. So how could I ever audition to be this man? Mm -hmm. 
I don't think so. I don't think I'm qualified. All right. Um, so I have the toast. Now I just need to butter my bread. I'm gonna be eating my eggs inside of a bowl. You can audition if you're Australia. What is that supposed to mean? Here, I'm putting you guys lower. Hi, how's it going? Glad we could uh, be this close together. It's, uh, it's cool, it's very cool. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, okay. <laughs> This is this is as, as enhanced as it gets. All right, where's the butter? Oh, it's right here. Wait. Maybe I need to move this. A knife. All right. After I butter this toast. We'll move on to the knife. I mean pancake. You have a license for that knife? <laughs> uh, nah. I'm just gonna wing it. Yeah, if you gotta go, it's totally fine. I understand. Hmm. What do you guys think about this toast? I think I buttered it pretty well. Here you go, look at this. Whoops. Come here, you. Hi. Hi, chat. Can you hear me? Can you hear me okay? Good. Because I made us toast. See? Nicely buttered, evenly seasoned. Did you guys ever add uh, brown sugar to your uh, to your buttered toast? That's breakfast, right there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It looks good. And now, now for the eggs. You wouldn't add sugar to your eggs? Yeah, sugar, cinnamon. Sugar, cinnamon, butter, toast. See? Toast. It's very it's very advanced. This is this is like advanced chemistry right now. Alright, now we're just gonna put the egg in the bowl. And then we're gonna take our tapatio, give it a good shake. Can you guys hear this? So we gave that a good shake. And we're gonna dab. All right, the eggs and the toast are done. Here's the finished product. <laughs> it looks weird. Uh, I think I'll turn it into. I think I'll turn it into a sandwich at some point. I'll just I'll just like fold it probably. But uh, before this gets cold. Um, yeah, but the, the, see, the eggs are good. The eggs are evenly cooked. There's, they're not burnt. Some people like to burn their eggs and they're wrong for that. Don't burn your eggs. Okay. Now it's everyone's favorite time. It's pancake time. <laughs> Looks depressing. Can I put black pudding on it? You mean black pudding? Um, black, wait. Isn't black pudding just sausage? Crisp is not burnt. 
Don't worry about it. Don't worry about my eggs. Black pudding is not sausage. It's black pudding is basically sausage. It's basically like a sausage roll, isn't it? All right, now it's time for pancakes. So, just like Gordon Ramsay always says, we're gonna add some olive oil. And now we're gonna mix the pancakes. Once again, this is what it looks like. It's blood sausage. It's, <laughs> yeah, we add, we add olive oil to the pan. And now I need to cook these pancakes. What do we need? Half, half, just half cup of mix. Some water. Word. One of the lights is out. In my kitchen, it's kind of weird. There we go. I have made pancakes before. I know exactly what I'm doing. All right, let's get a bowl. And measuring cup. We just have to figure out which size we're gonna use. Half, one and a half cup of mix. Okay, here's a cup, and it wants one plus a half. Easy money. All right, pay close attention. This is the trickiest part. If I spill any of it, I'll do 10 push-ups. I'm gonna hide this from you guys, sorry. Come on, you, come on, come on, you stupid. There's got to be an easier way to do this. Nah, 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 it's fine. I'm so nervous right now. I'm kind of spilling stuff. Here, I'm going to tilt this down just a little bit. You don't like olive oil? What's the matter with you? Olive oil is great. All right, I'm just gonna eyeball it. <laughs> Screw that. Screw the instructions. I'm thinking, I don't know, probably that much. <laughs> All right, so. This, so here's, here's the pancakes or what will be pancakes. You'll notice it's mostly like a powder. It's not, it's not like protein powder. I'm gonna add some water to it. So I saw this TikTok and uh, I made a video on it, but I'm gonna talk about it on stream because it kind of made me uh, interested. But basically it was between this girl and this guy and the girl was trying to hit on the guy like through a TikTok. Cause you know how you can like, um, you can like reply to somebody's TikTok. You can stitch or whatever it's called. So this guy made a TikTok dancing, right? And then this girl replied and she says, how can I get into this little elf man's DMs? Cause he was short. I think he was like a short basketball player. And that comment section is hilarious because half the people are like, how, how dare you call him an elf man? And the other half is like, wait, you guys are being asked for your DMs? Like, some people were just like happy that anybody wants to slide into their DMs. But I thought about it and I was like, if you're short and you're a dude, do you want a girl calling you little elf man? Because to me, it seems kind of 
to me it doesn't seem the best. Also, this is turning out pretty soupy. I don't think you do. I don't think you want a girl calling you Elf Man. It'd be like a girl calling me like Easter Island Head or like Easter Egg Boy. You think it's kinky? As an Asian, it hurt my pride, but it's worth it. See, you understand like the greater, the greater goals at stake. It's about being not insecure about it. Okay. You look like bald Chris Evans. I get that a lot. I, I identify as a large elf. I'm still in the game for No Not November. Yes, sir. I don't, I don't know. I think it seemed it seemed weird to me. I feel like most of chat agrees. It was a little weird. Yo, love your con. Love you, dude. Keep it up. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I guess I look like bald Chris Evans, which is probably a good thing, because Chris Evans is pretty attractive. But then again. Chris Evans is not bald. Someone said I look like discount bald Chris Evans. It's a good thing? Okay. Uh, what time is it for me? I don't know. Bald Chris Angel? No. No, no. Oh, this is still too soupy. We're making pancakes. This is the mix. I'm scared to show you, but it's it's in there. Believe me. Let's see. It looks like it looks like it looks more like oatmeal. Hmm. I need to get a beater. Let it sit, really? I think I might want to eat my uh, my eggs before they get cold. But I don't want you guys to hear me eating, so I'm gonna. How am I gonna do this? I'm just gonna eat off camera, so I'm gonna be over here, and then I'll leave you guys this microphone so you don't get ASMR of me eating a sandwich since nobody wants that. So you guys get to hang out right here. I'm gonna go over here and eat this. And I'll be back, okay? I'll be back. You want the ASMR? No. You really don't. I'm gonna I'm gonna go eat this though, because it's gonna get cold. I'll be back. I'll let you know how it tastes, okay? I'll let you know how it tastes. Stay. Stay. I wanna stay. There you go. It's perfect. It came out exactly the way I thought it would.
You guys don't want to raid my fridge. There's nothing in it. There's nothing in it worth value. You don't, you don't want it, trust me. Do you guys want to see my brownies from last night? They turned out terrible. They're not, they're not, um, <sighs> makes me want to cry. They're not thick. They're not thick at all. How long have I been making YouTube videos? Probably about two years. It needs to be thicker. Thick, thick, thick. I did, I added more mix. It's going to be thick. Don't worry. Don't worry. Would you describe, chat, would you describe yourselves as thick individuals? Or would you say you're more small bean? I would describe myself, actually on dating apps, usually you can, you can, you can filter. I always find myself putting either somewhere in between athletic build and like skinny. Wait, who keeps peanut butter in the fridge? It's natural peanut butter. It needs to be frozen or it needs to be, it needs to be cold. You're thick. Somewhere between athletic build and thick. Okay. All right, the consistency on this is looking a little bit better. Here, I'll show you guys. So, um, the pancakes is ready. It looks kind of soupy. It's thick, like you guys, you know? Um, yeah. Okay, let's put it in, because I think it's ready. Okay, it's time. The key to good pancakes is somewhere between thick and not so thick. Mm. This could, this could turn out pretty bad. This could be bad. Okay, I'm gonna increase the heat. <sighs> you guys mind if I, uh, you guys mind if I do the dishes over here real quick? I, I got, I've, I've been, I've been putting off uh, doing the dishes for a long time. 
So, yeah, give me a, let me, let me do these dishes real quick. Uh, but while I do these dishes, you guys can listen to me tell you a story about uh, my very first time making tea in Ireland. Um, actually, no, it was my very first time making hot chocolate. Uh, here, I'll just grab this for the story. So let me explain. When I take, when I say cat, when I say kettle, by the way, just for the sake of the story, while I'm doing the dishes, this is what I mean, like an electric kettle. Okay. So, me and my friends, we're at my buddies, right, and we're gonna watch a movie. And I was like, hey, I'm gonna make hot chocolate because I have these hot chocolate packets. And my friends were like, weird, bro. Um, that's cool. You can make hot chocolate. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. Um, but I knew the best hot chocolate is made with milk. And I thought to myself, how do I heat up this milk? There's no microwave. But they do have a kettle. And so I was like, oh, word, I can just put the milk inside the kettle and then heat that up. And I did do that. And let me tell you right now. That was the worst hot chocolate I ever had in my life. I think it burned the milk. I didn't know you could burn milk, but I burned the milk inside the kettle. And then the kitchen and the hallway smelled like burnt milk. And I still brought out the, uh, the mugs for my friends. And they were like, oh, that's so cool, Sweeney. Oh, you made us cho you know, hot chocolate. And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then they were like, why does this taste burnt? And I was like, what? What are you talking about? And I like grabbed it out of my friend's hand. And uh, yeah. It was it was burnt. I'll do the rest of the dishes later. Yeah, it was it was not good. Uh it was a bad time, really bad. You guys know the trick for pancakes? You have to wait um, until like little like bubbles, I think, appear in the pancake. That's what we're waiting, that's what we're waiting for right now. Just waiting. Waiting on the pancake. It's pretty close. Here, I will show you. Let me get that off. All right, I'll show. There you go. What do you think about that? I will do the flip. I will. I will. I will. Wait until it ascends? What do you mean? The, like, you think the pancake's gonna ascend? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? I, 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 I am gonna flip it. Calm down. The flipping, the flipping it is the best part. Oh, uh, it's really close. It's really close, you guys. It's really close to being flipped. Here, we could probably even get closer. I don't know why I stick you guys so far away. Point of view. Uh, we're in math class together, and I'm sliding your chair towards me because I'm awkward. I don't know. If I can... No, don't do that. Don't don't grab other people's chairs. It's not nice. All right, we're really close. I'm really good at pancake flipping.
All right. I got you guys, got you. <laughs> it's still not close. Maybe like a five. It doesn't look like it's, it's it still just looks like a, like a pool of, uh, of batter. The Halo multiplayer beta, I am, I am gonna do that. I, I, I might do it after this stream. I'll, I'll be over on, uh, on, on uh, Twitch. So where are you guys watching from? I, I, I ask every stream. I'm just curious. Where are you guys from? Where are you watching from? What, where do you uh, reside? Where do you live? Where, where, where? Morocco, my computer, Europe, South Africa, Germany, Washington, Peru, Sweden, your basement, good joke. Your mom's house, fair enough. Missouri, Italy, Australia, Ireland, Italy. The bottle's by the fridge. Uh, what do we have? We have olive oil. Olive oil. Aunt Jemima's uh, syrup. Bagels. Um, disinfecting wipes, uh, and bottles of wine. This is Shiraz. This is Yellowtail. Yeah, this is Australian wine. You're right. Proud of you. Oh shit. I forgot about the pancake. All right. So now I'm going to flip this. No problem at all. No problem. It's definitely not sticking to the pan just a little bit. All right, here, here it is. Yeah, it's gonna work out just fine. I think I have to use the spatula. I don't think I can use the pan to flip it. Sorry guys, I, I would love to do the whole pan like flick, but I had to use the spatula, I'm sorry. But it was a good flip, look. See, it's turning out pretty good. It's a nice golden brown pancake. Mm-hmm. How's it look, guys? Give it the rate. Give it the rate. A little crispy. A little crispy, but also a little... Uh, you can almost smell it. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. It's looking nice. I will eat this in front of you guys. It sounds so threatening. Uh, then we also have uh, tortillas. And then, um, for some reason I have coffee filters. I don't know why, but I have them. Um, here's a party trick if you guys want one. So take, uh, if you're ever at a party, if you're ever at a party, uh, ask for a coffee filter, okay? And a bottle of apple whiskey. So your friend's gonna give it to you, and then you go, uh, okay, I'm gonna take my coffee filter, right, and put it over my hand, and then I'm gonna open up the apple whiskey. To be very careful not to touch the top of it. Take a shot. And that's it, that's the trick. Try it at your friend's house. Okay, now it's time to butter the pancake. Ooh, did someone become a member? 
thank you. Uh, who is it? Cor Corderio Garcia. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Sweeney fam. Yeah, if you guys want to become channel members, it, it really helps support me. Then Now that I'm a full-time YouTuber, I'm broke as fuck. Um, but when you're, when you're a channel member, you get access to these live streams after I enlist them. So when so you can you can rewatch the live streams you can you can really relive the moments this is going to be a good pancake what did i do before youtube ah I, I was a pilgrim no i wasn't i worked in pr i worked in i worked in public relations for different companies all right, I need, I need a plate. Uh, come here, you. Hi, guys. I know, I know I'm real close. You need a PR for your YouTube channel? What does that mean? Like a personal record? What is that? What am I, what? What? It's pancake time. What martial arts do I practice? Does it look like I am into uh, martial arts? Seem like a Taekwondo guy. Yeah, yeah, Taekwondo's a little bit better. Nice mustache, thank you very much. Do you know Orange Peden? Yeah, I've seen some of his videos. He's a funny guy. Oh, 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 this is an old job I had. Coding Dojo. I was their social media manager for a while. Coding Dojo teaches people how to code. It's like a coding boot camp. So you pay like two grand or something. I don't know how much it is, two, four grand. And then over like a four month period, they teach you how to use like front end or back end web development. So like Python, C++, JavaScript. Those are all the coding languages. There's definitely more, but those are all the ones I remember. I never learned how to code though. That's not, it's just, it's just something I just can't do. And I know everybody's like, oh, coding's easy, coding's fun. Well, not for me. <laughs> it's just too detail oriented for me. But people who can code, awesome. That's really cool. I respect it. I do. All right, now I'm gonna eat this pancake. This is gonna get cold. Gonna add some syrup. Mmm, yum. Shit, nope, there we go, got it. I was gonna do that thing where the syrup drips down the entire bottle. I hate that shit. Then it's gonna dry and then the bottle gets all sappy. Oh, I'll heat up some tea. I'll make some tea for us to go with our pancake. I have so many bottles on my counter right now. All right, you guys, here you go. Come here. I'm gonna, gonna take you with me. Come, come, come. There we go. Isn't this nice? Isn't it nice being this close to me? Um, okay, here's the pancake. What do you guys think? Oh, look at that. It's a naughty little pancake. 
it's literally just a pancake, you guys. There's not there's no science involved. What would you what would you guys give my pancake out of ten? How would you rate it out of ten? You 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 walk into the bar and you see that pancake sitting alone at a booth. You buying it a drink, taking it home, giving it a four, six out of ten. Ouch! You guys hate my pancake. Seven, eleven, <laughs> sixteen, nine, sixteen, nine. <laughs> I've never eaten a pancake. Nine out of ten, six out of ten. It's a little flat. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Point of view. I'm. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm strangling you. <laughs> I'm the Boston Strangler, you guys. It was me all along. I used to tell stories about a guy called the Boston Strangler. And, uh, I think it turned out to be a real person. So I stopped making the joke, but it used to be a story I would always tell him. Just this guy who was from Boston just went around strangling people. It's not me though. I ain't I ain't the one. Anyway. Ooh, that cut really easily. Alright, you guys get to hear one bite and then I'm eating this in peace. I'm taking this microphone away. Oh wait, actually here, wait. Um It's kind of a big bite, but uh, hair chat, you can have the first bite of this pancake. <laughs> look how hard, look how stiff it is. Here you go, chat, eat up, eat up, eat your, eat your uh, sponge, eat up. You won't be able to defeat the sacristans from the Holy Land if you don't eat your, your gulag. Don't make fun of it, just eat it. Yum, yum, yum. You're welcome, you're welcome, eat up, thank you. Thank you. All right, here we go. Let's try them. I'll let you know how it tastes. Oh, wait, this bite's kind of big. It's kind of sus. Here, it'll go smaller. Hmm. It kind of tastes like I'm eating a cloud. It kinda tastes like I'm eating nothing. It doesn't taste bad, but it doesn't taste good either. It's all right. It's, it's okay. Here, I'll, I'll let you guys think about your decisions in life. I would rate this pancake right now a solid um, six out of ten. Because it's not, it's not, you know, it's not terrible. But when I serve it to my guests, I mean, if I hated them, maybe. <laughs> mm. It's all right. It just tastes. I, there's nothing. I, there's nothing I can compare it to. Imagine like a pancake that kind of tasted like coconut, but it was also like really airy on the inside. I think probably probably because I didn't add enough batter. So anyway, I'm gonna eat this pancake in peace because I just don't like people watching me while I, I don't I don't like people watching me while I eat. So I'm gonna step over there, eat this, and then I'm gonna come back, okay? Chat. So if people show up to the stream and they get nervous that I'm not here, you need to explain to them <laughs> why I'm gone. Okay. Same for <laughs> um.
No, you can you can watch one more bite. Man, this pancake is so dry. I'll be back. There's something wrong with my pancake, you guys. I don't know what it is. I think it might be the batter itself. It just it just seems really off. I'll I'll, I'll eat it in front of you because you you can't even hear chewing noises, can you? Because it's a pancake, right? If it's weird for you guys, I won't do it. Let me know. I just get so sad when I take a bite out of it. Eat it with your mouth open? No, that's bad manners. I refuse. The pancake has so much sound resistance. I don't hear anything. <laughs> Let's focus on the team. All right, I'm just gonna put this pancake over here. It's not like I don't like it, but I think we should move on to having tea. Here's the tea. Um, Spice Dragon. Um, while you guys are here, who's your favorite streamer? Who do you guys like to watch when uh, stream? Do you guys have any favorites? Please enlighten me. And don't fall over, don't fall off that stool. Tea time. Now's the moment where I just hope there's enough water in the kettle. There is, okay, cool. Now I'm gonna let that sit and then I might add a little milk to it. But I think we can just sit here in silence like we should. You like to watch Sweeney, you watch Sea Dog. Armoranth is my favorite. Sweeney is my comfort streamer. I'm glad, I'm glad I bring you Moist Critical's Daddy. I listened to one other, but I won't say. What's for breakfast? We had uh, two eggs, toast, and then I just made some pancakes that turned out terribly. If you wanna see them, I will, I will show you. Uh, and as always is the custom, if anyone wants to donate, I will give you a tour of my fridge. But if nobody donates during the stream, no fridge tour. It would be good for you guys only because I just went shopping the other day. So you'll actually shoot, you'll act, actually see what I eat on a day-to-day -day basis. Here's the pancakes though. I'll, I'll show you the pancakes. Look at that. 
it turned out pretty stiff. I wasn't a big fan. Kind of like, kind of hard. No, the fridge is not fake, you guys. The fridge is real. This is a real fridge, you guys. You can tell because I can touch it. I can put my leg up on it a little bit because seduce my fridge. If I get any closer to the fridge, the camera's gonna fall. But see, you can see it's real. It's a nice fridge. I think it's pregnant. <laughs> I can tell because I'm a fridge doctor. <laughs> it's okay, fridge. I got you, boy. I got you. You're gonna be okay, fridge. Don't let them make fun of you. All right, keep your head up. Wait, did someone actually donate? Because that's hilarious. <laughs> Victor donated. All right, fair enough. Uh, fridge tour, cool. Uh, is there anything I need to take out? <laughs> I think it's okay. <laughs> um, all right. I guess we can all come over here now to my fridge. Um, so let's see, all right, you might not like it, but here's some meat. So we have that, we had some cheese. Here's the brownies I made last night. They turned out terribly. These brownies should not be consumed by anyone who's a human, ever. Um, we have hot Italian sausage. We have leftover pasta. No, the brownies aren't burnt, but they're just kind of like thick. They're just kind of like thick blocks of cheese. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a bad comparison, but they're they're not good. Um, here's here's the uh, here's the coffee that I got. Um, we also have eggs. What else? Okay, now let's look at this door. Uh, so we have cheese, pesto, pesto sauce. Uh, we have ham. We have uh, Chick-fil-A sauce. You guys ever been to Chick-fil-A before? It's pretty fun. I have the sauce from it. Uh, we also have some more cheese. Why not? Uh, oh, and then down here we have a bunch of yogurt. I like to eat yogurt, usually Greek yogurt. This is a good brand because it's cheap. Uh, and then we have some Sinfire whiskey. And then Canada Dry, I don't know why it's there. Uh, I don't have any Lunchables. I wish I did. But I don't. Why didn't I cover the brownies? <laughs> I needed to, um, I needed to remind myself of the shame of my terrible brownie cooking. So what would you guys rate my, uh, what would you guys rate my fridge out of 10? Refrigerated whiskey? It's good. You're supposed to refrigerate Sinfar. 10 out of 10, 69 out of 10, nine out of 10, eight, 10, Eight out of 10, nice, nice. You guys are being respectful to my fridge. I like that. Six out of 10. <laughs> I think it averages, it averages out to around probably, I don't know. Okay, cool. I have a, I have a surprise for you guys. It's a little secret surprise. We can do a little show and tell. Because I went to my parents' house 
uh, last night. And I got my movies that I own. So we, I get to show you guys. This is what I was gonna do on Thursday for my uh, nighttime stream. But I get to do it for you guys now since you stuck around. Okay, but here's the rule. Everything I show you, you can't tell anyone about. Especially for these first three books. It's a little sus, okay? But I'm just gonna show you guys, okay? So, everything is inside this box. And I'm gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna go through it together. Okay, first things first. It's, it's, it's literally show and tell time. First things first is baseball cards. Look at that. I was so young. I, I even organized it by teams. I don't know if you guys ever watch baseball, but uh, this is a binder that was from my parents. I got all, I got all the teams. Mariners, of course, some from Seattle. There you go. You've heard of it. That's good. All right, so we got that. Uh, here's a book that my mother got me. It's called The ABCs of Finding a Good Wife. Now, you might ask yourself, why would a mother purchase this for her son? And that's an excellent question. Uh, I have yet to read this book, but I'm sure it's got good things. Uh, but you guys should check it out if you want to. Look, it even says how to find and marry the right girl. <laughs> and then it shows these possible women you could be with. See, there's me thinking about marriage, and then here's... You know, just random ass girls. Oh, this, I remember this book. <laughs> I was like, every page I would read it and I'd be like, ah, yes. <laughs> I wonder what Z is. I thought it was a, like organized by a letter. Ooh, you guys, this chapter is called The Ultimate Marriage Buster. 500% increase in divorce rate? Wait, what is this? <laughs> $10, Andy. Please read the introduction of the white book. I beg you. All right, all right, all right. I'll read you, I'll read you the beginning. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, okay, the beginning is called... A word of intro. Wait, I, I don't think you want to read the introduction. Oh, actually, the introduction. Yeah, this is a good place to start. All right, here we go. I'll read this to you guys. So this is the ABCs of finding a good wife purchased for me by my mother because she's a nice woman. Who wants to be bound to a lifetime of unhappiness? Today, men are increasingly pessimistic about finding satisfying lifelong love in marriage. The high rate of divorce has eroded expectations for the possibility of permanent commitment. Increasingly, men are either postponing marriage or are hesitant about ever committing to it. Some cultural observers say that we are on the verge of a post-marriage culture, ah, where marriage is viewed as unnecessary and even unwelcome there you go I don't, I don't know if i should continue anymore but um it keeps on going you know they, they you know they uh let me see let me see um i can give you guys a synopsis i can give you a synopsis of this chapter if you want yeah, let's not. It's getting too real. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, thanks for the dono. That's the book. Check it out. Here's the next book. It's called Blink. Uh, this is interesting. This is about the assumptions you make about people within the first couple of seconds. Um, it's about, like, stuff in your brain and things like that. Uh, cool. I, I've only read a little bit. I still need to read more of it. 
Um, okay, I put the others over here. Let me grab these. Then, here's two more. This one is called, I hope I screw this up. It's by a comedian talking about why you shouldn't be afraid of failure and that kind of stuff. It's one of those books, pretty cool. And then this one's called Fuck Feelings. Interesting book. Um, it's just like a psychiatrist telling people what they need to do and stuff like that. It's pretty good. Whoop. All right, now there's this book series called Del Toro Quest. Listen, I know this is like something you would read when you're really young, and it's true, I did. For some reason, this is books five through eight. I don't know where books one through four went, but I yeah. am. Uh, we have two mangas. Did I read Harry Potter? I did not. I just watched Harry Potter. Uh, what are some of your guys' favorite books, though? Would you like to share with the class? I'm reading a book series right now called uh, The Dresden Files, and that's really good. I'm really enjoying that. You read or seen Dune? I have seen Dune. Carl Sagan, Wheel of Time, What If? Industrial Society and Its Future, Stephen King, Sapiens, Terry Pratchett. Uh, here is the first one. It's called Grand Balloon. It's about diving, although it's actually mostly about drinking. I think this is the first one. Hello, hello, King. Uh, yes, you did miss you did miss the fridge tour. I said if we got a dono, I would tour the fridge. Uh, wait, and then here's. The first book of One Punch Man. See? There he is, One Punch Man himself. It's, it's, it's basically me. But without uh, a mustache. Uh, what else we got? Aha, here is a book called Feeling Good. This is very interesting. They don't use drugs. They use something called cognitive behavior therapy, CBT. It's not weed, um, but yeah, it's basically like changing the way you think and stuff like that. I thought it was pretty useful. If you guys wanna check it out, I think it was like six bucks on Amazon. It's a thick book. I actually did read a lot of that. All right, now we're into the fun part. Now we're into the movies. So these are like, these would be like some of my favorite movies. <laughs> All right. You ready for this? Here's a quick preview. That was half of the movies I have. I know all about CBT. <laughs> uh, do I have books about my personality type? No. You mean like ENFP? All right, so here's the first book. Wait, these are movies now. Here's the first movie. Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? You guys ever seen this? Looks like I picked it up somewhere on sale for like less than two bucks. Totally worth it. 
This is a hilarious movie. I watch it like probably every year with my family. Very silly. This this movie slaps. It's got good music. It's funny. Uh, what else? Eh, a lot of stuff about it. It's just a charming movie. I think I would put it in like the drama category. Oh yeah, by the way, here's your tea, everybody. It's done cooling. Here, drink up. Drink your tea, chat. Drink up. You need your strength in order to defeat the Fire Lord, um, Avatar Aang. <laughs> The tea, it's not, it's not cold. <laughs> it's not burnt, it's not burnt. Shh, quiet, just drink. Just drink up. Drink, drink, drink. <laughs> it's like I'm poisoning you. <laughs> That's right, drink all the tea. Hmm, pretty good. It's Spice Red Dragon Chai. All right, cool. So, chat right now, yes or no? Would you recommend this movie? Yes or no? Recommend O Brother Where Art Thou? How are we feeling on it? Good movie or bad? Yes. Yes, no. O Brother Where Art Thou? No opinions on it, it's okay. If you haven't seen it, you should. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, I will stream Thursday night. After this stream, I might play some uh, Halo or crab game on Twitch. Or maybe just the card game. All right, here's the next movie. The Patriot. I like this movie a lot. It's about the American Revolution. Uh, now, I will be I will be fair about this movie. People have always made fun of it for the historical accuracies and the way it like portrays the British as just being like kind of evil d bags. Um, but it's just a good movie. Like, it's just a good movie. You know how some movies, is it's like, it's not about the historical accuracies as much. It's more just about the environment they create. So, as long as you get past that and the whole American thing, it just makes, it's, it's kind of cool. It's about a dad and he's getting revenge and it takes place during the American Revolution. And what's really cool is it's like a timepiece setting. So, if you're like into these types of movies... They did a good job with like the costume design and the way the combat works. So, pretty good. Recommend it. What's next? Oh. Oh, you're uh, a little late for breakfast, but if you wanna know, we had pancakes and eggs. And then I just made some tea after breakfast tea. All right, well, we can speed through the rest of these if you want. Next one is Black Hawk Down. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's ever seen this before. It's about... Which... It's definitely about the... Ra oh yeah, it is Somalia. It's about like these American soldiers in Somalia doing this like extraction mission and they ended up being overrun but uh it's it's a good action flick and it's based on a true story so you should check it out i really liked it uh and there's actually some like pretty big name actors in it but uh yeah it's basically um i think somalia was having a problem with like pirates and so they sent some american soldiers there to like quiet what is it? Oh yeah, there was like starvation going on. And so they sent us in to like help people and then ended up like going, things that started going bad because uh, a black hawk is a type of helicopter ended up getting shot down. And then, 
Yeah. They had to, it turned into like a big rescue mission. Kind of interesting. All right, here's my weeb side showing. He has know this movie, The Wind Rises. The Wind Rises. This is good. This is Studio Ghibli. Really good movie. I saw it in theaters. Um, let's see. It's 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 about. So this is kind of interesting because it's about technically the aviation engineer who designed the planes that would eventually bomb at Pearl Harbor. But um, he, as a person, wasn't necessarily pro-war. He just wanted to design really beautiful planes. And so it's filmed in a way where it does a testament to him and like his passion for engineering and like just his life. But it's like, it includes the humanity. So it's not like demonizing him because it's like, he knew he was gonna make the planes and then people were gonna end up using it for war. So cool, cool movie. You should check it out if you want. Yeah, really well made. Uh, people make fun of this movie sometimes because the way they did the sound effects for the planes when they're flying is they, uh, they like, it's all human noises. So, um, yeah, you might laugh a little bit at the sound effects for the planes in that movie. Oh, and if you want to watch the dubbed, I think the English dubbed, the guy who voices this main person is the same guy who's from The Office. It was Jim, Jim from The Office voices this guy in the dubbed. That's kind of a fun fact. How are you guys enjoying this? Do you wanna keep going? I have a couple more movies to show you. Uh, if you couldn't tell, I like movies. I'm kind of a movie nerd. You have a test tomorrow. Good luck on your test. I hope you do well. If, 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 if you have a test, here, have some more tea. Have some more tea. Drink up. Drink up, chat. There's not a lot left. I don't know. I don't think I can change the title of this stream because it does say cooking breakfast, but uh, we're kind of done with that now. Are you a weeb? Mm, maybe. Sweeney, tomorrow I'm going to the army to do my service. Give me luck. Hey, I wish you best of luck if that's true. Uh, that's very cool. You're joining the army, respect. I do wish you the best. And I believe you will do well. All right, here's the next movie. This is uh, a movie called Cool Hand Luke. It's an older movie, okay? But it's one of my favorites. And the reason it's one of my favorites is because it's about this guy, who is Paul Newman, who's a very famous old actor. And the whole movie is just about him basically doing whatever he wants, not listening to other people. He ends up getting involved in like a chain gang like even in the description, even in the description for the movie, they're like his crime was not like bending to society's rules. And I was like, what? And even in the beginning of the movie, he's like just kicking some cans and they're like, arrest that man. And I was like, why? But it's kind of cool. He basically joins the chain gang and then there's like a totalitarian ruler in the prison camp. And he kind of like defies that guy and then like inspires everybody else to have an uprising. Cool. It's a good drama. Yeah, if you're getting here, sorry, I can't change the stream title, but we already had breakfast. 
uh, we had pancakes and eggs, and right now I'm just talking to everybody about uh, movies. The eggs were really good. The pancakes were, could have been better. All right, let's go to the next one. Ah, here we go. It's another weeb moment. This is... Toradora. It's a rom-com. People have mixed feelings about it. I think it's good. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a typical, typical romance anime. There's one guy and then there's a bunch of other people and some people like other people and stuff like that. It takes place in the school. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's cute. It's good. It's very emotional. A lot of the characters get like really upset pretty easily. Uh, but I like him. All right, on to the next. Yeah, actually it, it does take place, I think during Christmas in some parts. It is good. All right, what's next? Uh, oh, okay, here we go. The next movie is Better Off Dead. This is... It's just a comedy movie. Pretty sure it was made in the 80s. It's about a guy who gets like rejected and just wants to die. And I think he, he ends up falling in love with some girl that's like a car mechanic and she's French. But yeah, it's just kind of a silly movie. Just check it out if you haven't. It is an old comedy. I'm, I'm looking at when it was made. Yeah, 1985. It's an, it's an 80s movie. But it's good. It's good. You're making a burger? Nice. All right, how many more movies do we have? Oh, just, just a couple more. All right, here's the next movie, End of Watch. This is really good. This is about um, police officers. And it's pretty realistic. I think this is one of the more realistic cop movies that was ever made. And the reason for it is I think these actors actually spent like four weeks with the LAPD. But it's good. I enjoyed it. Very action. Kind of sad at some parts. But uh, definitely should check it out. Have you heard that they want to remake Roadhouse? What is Roadhouse? I don't know what that is. Yeah, but it's... It's good. They these guys do a great job acting together. Like their their chemistry is honestly what makes the movie. They do a really good job. And it is kind of like, you know, what it's like to be a cop. So if you ever wanted to kind of know, <laughs> at least down in like southern LA or southern LA. The only roadhouse I know is a grilling restaurant. I yeah, I don't I don't I don't know. Uh hello, hello, A Duff. If I could only watch one movie for the rest of my life. Ooh. That's a hard question. I don't know if I can answer that. That's too hard. All right, here's the next movie. The original, Men in Black. That's right, Will Smith, or Mr. Mr. Smith, Mr. Jones. It's 
pretty nice. The the orig like the first one is pretty good. Pretty pretty funny. And I feel like most people have seen this. We should have a movie a movie night, maybe in the Discord, if you guys want to join it. I I yeah, I like it a lot. The first one, yeah, the first one was probably the best. All right, here's the next. You guys know this movie, Rudy, about a Notre Dame football player who wants to join the football team. My tea's probably gonna get cold too. Ooh, yeah, Lord of the Rings Extended Edition. Yeah, Rudy, really good. I remember when my sex ed teacher in middle school made us watch this movie, but it was a good thing because I'd already seen it, but the rest of the class hadn't. But I was like, yeah, no, for sure. Like people should definitely watch this movie because it's really good. Just about a guy who wants to be on a football team. The music's really, really good. Who does the music in this? Yeah, Sean Astin's the, the lead actor. The same guy who was Sam from Lord of the Rings. Oh, Jerry Goldsmith? I don't think people know who that is. But yeah, football movie. All right, that brings us to the end of our movies with the last one and po probably one of my favorite movies, and it's Saving Private Ryan. That's right. One of the better World War II movies that was ever made. Focuses on a team of rangers trying to save basically one soldier. Private Ryan, hence the title of the movie, Saving Private Ryan. Really, really good movie. I highly recommend it to everybody. It has, I think, one of the most realistic Normandy beach landing scenes ever, like in cinematic history. It was so bad, in fact, that I think when the movie was releasing in theaters, they set up hotlines for veterans to call because the, with, with the, the first 10 minutes of this movie is like really, really realistic. And I think if you want to do a case study on the sound design, um, they knocked out of the park. They did a really, really good job. After the beach scene, historical inaccuracies do start to appear, but that's like one of the main things. This is really good, good for. And then after that, if you want to just look at it as like a World War II drama, it's good. Might even watch that tonight, actually. Your grandpa flew planes in World War II? That's awesome. Yeah, Hacksaw Ridge was also really good. And that was based on a true story, actually, as well. All right, well, um, nice. Thank you all for joining me for uh, breakfast. Hopefully y'all had a good time. And again, I'm usually streaming either on YouTube or Twitch around this time. I think I'm gonna hop over to Twitch now and maybe try to do some of that uh, Halo or we can do the card game plus um, crab game maybe? Yeah. So. Uh, if you want to join me, I'll be on Twitch in the next 10, 10 minutes. I'll be on Twitch. If you guys want to join me over there, we'll continue with the stream. But I just wanted to hang out with my YouTube fam. So see y'all. Appreciate y'all hanging out. Very, very cool. That's very nice of you to let me share my movie knowledge with you and, and nerd out uh, for a bit, if you will. So, yeah. I'll see you all on Twitch in a bit. See you, see you.